Good morning guys and welcome to the start of a brand new weekly vlog. Now today uh, you can probably tell I've got makeup on but I haven't done my eyebrows. That is because I'm finally going to see Michelle who does my eyebrows. Uh, yeah, to get these bad boys sorted out. I also get my lip wax at the same time when I go see Michelle. So I'm looking forward to having a nice fresh face very soon. Then after that we are actually going on a picnic because today is beautiful. Nick has our Wednesdays off and I'm not working today either so we thought we would go Go take Felix to a park he hasn't been to before so that is the plan I'm so excited but anyway I had better go because we've got less than 10 minutes now before we need to leave no I'll do the the clean well I don't think I've got it marked as a cleansing one but I'll do a cleansing facial I generally just have like a 60 minute facial and I'll, I'll do whatever I think your skin needs okay. on the day um, so yeah oval so, um, Emma, do you Star? still have appointments before Christmas? Yeah. But, um, oh, yes. Right. Heart. Yeah. Wait, wait, just, uh, yeah. I, what um, day do you feel like Where's your nose? Whenever I want to, they're oh so considerate. Where's your yeah. hair? I, um, one of my where's your ears? Works there from ears. An old centre. That's it. Ears. What about your mouth? Well. Like her last, oh, well, she Eyes? Eyes? She's okay. What about your cheeks? Cheeks. Oh, I was just saying to Nick, and it sounds so weird. Cheek, to say, yeah. So okay, guys, this is so much better, but I no, forgot no, my foundation, no, so we're gonna have to no. be dealing with a bit of a red lip for the rest of the day. We can go in a minute. Wanna go to the park? Some good tucker. How's his strawberries? Are they yummy? Good boy. My gosh, Nick, he never eats sandwiches. This is weird. Is it muffin, Papa? Is it good? <laughs> Are you a cookie monster? Oh my god. <laughs> Camera. 
<laughs> Good morning, guys. Well, it's basically the afternoon, but hey, it's Friday. And I really need to clean my house. Uh, Nick's uh, dad and his partner, they're coming down on Sunday. Um, so, yeah, there's so much stuff I need to do. But I also need to go into town to... Oh, my gosh, my nose is running. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm still sick, guys. I'm getting better, but I'm still sick. Uh, anyway, I need to go to town today because I have to pay a bill. And also, I have a hair consult at hairdressers uh, at 12.30. Uh, so, I have to leave the house today. I am really excited to get my hair done, though. It has been so, so long. I've been doing it myself now for ages because it's more affordable. And, you know, Felix, I don't always have that extra time to sit down at a hair salon um, and get my hair done when I've got Felix all the time because there's no way he would sit there for that long. Um, but, yeah, I thought it would be really nice to uh, get it done um, leading up towards Christmas. Hopefully, they can fit me in because I'm going somewhere today that is very popular but I'm doing that because I'm worried about my hair because I've been blonde for like two three times in the past and it has uh, damaged my hair and made it quite thin and uh, last time I was blonde was almost two years ago now if you guys remember and my hair is finally grown back but now I kind of want it to be cut a bit shorter again and I'm not going blonde in case you guys were wondering so mum don't panic but I really want to go lighter brown I just feel like this is way too dark um, it's probably because I've been doing it myself but yeah to me it looks black and I don't like that at all I want a light brown and definitely a, a bit of a chop so I'm very much looking forward to getting myself a nice hairdressing appointment where I can sit back and relax and get pretty up so that is my plan for today hair consult paying bills and then coming home and cleaning the house and yeah it's gonna be a pretty boring one to be honest I probably won't vlog that much when we're out but I'll vlog more when we get home but anyway I've gotta go but I'll see you soon Good boy. And he knows yellow, red, and black. Whoa. And blue, oh. apparently. Look at your cheeks. Red. <laughs> he knows he knows cheeks. Hey Felix, where's your nose? Nose. Where's your lips? <laughs> Where's your ears? Ears? No, ears. No, that's cheek. Ears. Ears. Yeah, that's it. Hey guys, so I would say it's probably about 7.30 at night and please just excuse how awful I look. I basically cried nearly all of my makeup off today and then I just wiped the rest off with some makeup remover and I've just chucked on some comfy clothes I still need to have a shower we have had the worst afternoon ever so <laughs> I don't even like thinking about it everything is fine by the way guys but today I was just so scared so anxious so so upset so basically what happened was this morning Felix woke up and he had a uh, little cold but it wasn't anything that I would have worried about at all it was literally a runny nose I don't think he was even coughing or anything like that so I had a few errands to run in uh, town as I probably would have mentioned before. I had to go pay a bill and I had a few other things I needed to do. Um, so I thought he was going to be fine to take out of the house today. Uh, he was a bit grizzly but that's pretty normal for when he's not feeling the greatest because he's had colds before in the past. But uh, around 2.30 uh, he started to get a little bit worse so I was like okay let's just take you home which I did. He slowly started to get more upset and so once we got home I just sat him on my lap and he almost fell asleep but then I realized I should probably go check his temperature just to be safe so I um 
carefully like slid him from my lap to the couch so he could have a lie down and I grabbed our like ear thermometer it's actually really really uh, handy it's so much better than the stick thermometer that you put under their arms because um, all you have to do is like stick it in their ear and press a button and it tells you but yeah so I checked his first ear and uh, it said like 39.8 so then I checked his other ear and it read 40 and it also uh, went red so like basically our thermometer if it's on a normal temp it's green if it's a bit higher it goes orange and if it's higher than that it goes red so yeah that freaked me out I've never seen him with a temperature that high before and uh, yeah I rang Nick in tears and uh, he told me to call the ambulance and he said he would also find someone to cover his shift so he could meet me uh, at the hospital I feel like I'm a bit disappointed in myself to be honest because I shouldn't have panicked as much as I did but I've never been in that situation before you know what I mean like I didn't know what to expect but someone who does have a very intense anxiety and someone who is a hypochondriac I just lost it you know like I was so scared so I called the ambulance and that was so nice a guy stayed on the phone with me and basically he just told me the ambulance is coming they're not far away and to keep checking on Felix keep watching his breathing because he was trying to go to sleep um and he was really 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 hot like his cheeks were really red his head was hot his back was hot like he literally felt like a little heat pack um oh god it's horrible to like think about it now but um anyway um the paramedics eventually arrived and Felix absolutely hated it like it was really hard to watch so yeah Felix had to go to hospital um so they called another van that was able to take him so three more paramedics came into my house um and nick's boss was even there too he came and made sure that we were okay until nick could meet us at the hospital so we went into the ambulance and felix absolutely hated it he was screaming he was strapped into a bed but like he was looked after so well but he was just scared you know like how are you supposed to explain to an almost two-year-old what's going on? Like, they're not going to understand, really. So, um, I just did the best I could. But it was so hard to not cry in front of him. Because I didn't know what to expect. Like, I always think the worst things. And I know that I need to work on that. We got to the hospital and he was checked out. Turns out, um, it was a viral infection. So, he doesn't need antibiotics. Uh, just Panadol. Oh, I just want to quickly say, guys, I did not give him Panadol myself at home because the guy on the phone actually told me not to because we didn't know um, what the paramedics might need to give him. So, um, yeah, that's why I didn't do that. But I am aware that Panadol brings a fever down. But anyway, it was just a horrible, horrible experience. But in saying that, I don't mean to be overdramatic. I know that other families go through way worse, but... My anxiety is such a real thing. I literally thought that he had something really, really wrong with him. And I'm allowed to have feelings and I'm allowed to express them. And I'm allowed to cry and be worried about my child just as much as anybody else is. So, um, yeah, it doesn't mean that I don't have any respect or care about anybody else who could be in a worse situation because, my goodness, I have more respect for those people. Anyway, I need to stop rambling. It's getting late. I'm just going to wrap up this weekly vlog here. But be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next vlog. And... <coughs> hopefully Felix will be feeling a lot better he already is by the way he's definitely perked up he's eaten some of his dinner as well so he's much better since we got home but um I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog anyway and we'll start fresh next week thanks for understanding bye guys